home appliances are happy to bring you a repeat performance of one of the best liked of the adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson, and of course his lovely wife Harriet as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson, and his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Oh, hi, I've been looking for you. Oh, yeah? Would you help me paint the chairs? Oh, gee, I'd like to have, but I have quite a few things I have to do. Oh, come on, it'll only take a minute. Grab a brush. Oh, well, uh, gee, I'd like to, but I have to, uh, well, I have to wash the car. Don't tell me you're going to wash the car. Well, no, I'm not going to wash it all by myself, but uh, I was thinking on driving it down to the garage. Uh, they always do a much better job. I'll be back in time to help you finish the chairs, though. How long will you be? Uh, how long do you figure it'll take you to paint them? <laughs> okay, I know when I'm licked. Why'd you ask the boys? I'm sure they'd be happy to do it for you. Makers of Hot Point Home Appliances are happy to bring you a repeat performance of one of the best liked of the adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson, and of course his lovely wife Harriet as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson, and his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Oh, hi, I've been looking for you. Oh, yeah? Would you help me paint the chairs? Oh, gee, I'd like to have, but I have quite a few things I have to do. Oh, come on, it'll only take a minute. Grab a brush. Oh, well, uh, gee, I'd like to, but I have to, uh, well, I have to wash the car. Don't tell me you're going to wash the car. Well, no, I'm not going to wash it all by myself, but uh, I was thinking on driving it down to the garage. Uh, they always do a much better job. I'll be back in time to help you finish the chairs, though. How long will you be? Uh, how long do you figure it'll take you to paint them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know when I'm licked. Why'd you ask the boys? I'm sure they'd be happy to do it for you. Oh, David's out selling tickets to some charity bazaar. Oh, really? Who talked him into that? Well, it seems little Nancy Baker had to sell 20 tickets to win a prize or something, so she asked David to help her. Isn't it remarkable how little boys always let little girls talk them into things like that? I should think David would be too smart to fall for stuff like that, though. You mean girls? No, but obviously she flattered him into it. You know, that's been going on since time began. Every time a gal wants a guy to do something for her, she just butters him up a little, gives him the old flattery routine. The first thing you know, another sucker gets hooked. Oh, I don't know, dear. Maybe David volunteered to help her. You know, he's a lot like you in so many ways. So generous, kind-hearted. Well, I thought you said she asked him. Well, she did. She asked him, and he volunteered. <laughs> well, I think David's too intelligent to fall for flattery. As I say, he's a lot like you. Well, yeah, but I mean, he's also pretty naive and pretty young, and she might have been subtle about the way she approached the whole deal. Oh, no, I don't think so. He's just being helpful like his kind, good-natured father. Ooh, be careful, dear. I don't want to splash any paint on that new tie. New tie? Yes, isn't that a new tie you're wearing? No, no. I've had this quite a while. You like it? Oh, very much. You should wear it more often. It brings out the blue in your eyes. Yeah. Oh, really? Say, have you been working out in the yard recently? Well, I, I was out there fooling around with the sprinklers this morning. Uh, why? I thought so. Your face is getting so nice and tan. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I just love the way that little lock of hair falls over your forehead. It looks so rugged. No, <laughs> it does not. It does so. You know, I got a pretty handsome husband. No, I cut it out. <laughs> well, I have. I better not stand here talking. I better get out of these chairs. Oh, never mind. Here, I'll paint them for you. Oh, you really don't have to, dear. Oh, no, no. I, I think I should. After all, you've worked hard enough for it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, good morning. Good morning, young man. Is the lady in? Uh, no, I'm sorry. She just stepped out for a few moments. May I help you? Well, I usually talk to the lady. Phew. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Just these darned old bunions of mine. That's quite a hill you've got out there. Oh, yes, it is, isn't it? Say, why don't you come in and relax for a while? I'm sure my wife will be right back. Oh, that's very sweet of you. I could use a breather. Guess I'm not as young as I used to be. No, 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 well, wait a minute. I'll, I'll get that suitcase. It looks oh, pretty heavy. Oh, thank you kindly. <laughs> Just sit right down over there. That's one of our more comfortable chairs. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, my, this really is good. Yeah, I guess this door-to-door -door selling must be pretty fatiguing. Oh, I rather enjoy it. One always meets such nice people. Uh, do you mind if I just take off my shoes for a little bit? Oh, no, no. Make yourself right at home. Make oh. yourself comfortable. Thanks a million. Oh. Say, why don't I get you a nice, cool glass of water? Oh, no, no, they'll be all right. I'll just let them wiggle a little. <laughs> oh. No, no, I, I was talking about yourself. <laughs> oh, no, please don't bother. I'm fine. I just get a little tired trudging from door to door. Oh, sure. Uh, what are you selling? Oh, I have a very wonderful and guaranteed spot remover. Uh, I have a few samples there in the case, if you'd care to look at it. Oh, yes, I'd be very interested. Well, then, you just open it right in the front there, that little uh, catch there. Oh, yes, I see. I make the stuff myself. Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. Widow Whistler's spot remover. Oh, are you Mother Whistler in person? Yes, I am. Oh, well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, this looks like very nice stuff. How much does this sell for? Well, I'm making a special introductory offer to the people of this neighborhood. Only 50 cents a bottle. Oh, say, that sounds very reasonable for such a good spot remover. Uh, may I buy some? Just help yourself. Oh, fine. We have kind of a... A uh, sloppy family here, oh, isn't everybody yeah. these days? <laughs> Maybe I ought to buy two bottles, huh? Well, it's very good stuff to have around the house, especially where there's children. Yeah, well, we have a couple of growing boys here. Say, why don't I buy four bottles? That's uh, a bottle for each member of the family. Then nobody will be using somebody else's <laughs> spot remover. Come <laughs> <laughs> to think that I have a pretty darn sloppy neighbor, too, a Mr. Thornberry. I think I'll buy a bottle for him. <laughs> My, that's a lot of spot remover. Are you sure you can use five quarts? Oh, sure, very easily. Oh, say, wait a minute. I don't think I've got all that with me right now. See, these are my samples. I see. I'll tell you what. You keep that, and I'll bring the rest. Deliver it this afternoon sometime. Oh, that'll be fine. I'll just put this over here so we won't get it mixed up. That's right. Now, if you'd give me my order book there in the little uh, room yes, there, please. Uh, now. No, 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 no. You relax. I'll take care of everything, Mother Whistler. Oh, okay, thank <laughs> you. Just tell me what to do. Well, put your name and your address and the amount of the order. I see. That's uh, five bottles, Mother Whistler's spot remover at 50 cents. <laughs> five times 50 cents, five times 25, zero times zero, okay, that's uh, zero. That's uh, two dollars and 50 cents. I better put down here that I've taken one bottle. Oh, you see, for one bottle, I'll just initial that. Mm -hmm. Does that look... Uh, no, mark it COD. 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 I'm only a salesman. I'm a juggler as well. <laughs> <laughs> look okay? Oh, that's very good. Oh, fine. There. Well, I guess I'd better be running along. Oh, I'm glad you stopped by, Mother Whistler. Oh, so am I. <clears throat> this oh. reminds me of one of my old saxophone cases. I used to be a musician in my younger days. Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say, just notice you have a little bit of a spot on your coat here. Why don't I get some of your spot removed and I'll take it right off in a jiffy. Oh, no, no, no. I'll wait until I get home. <laughs> a little soap and water will take care of it. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. She stopped by your house, too, huh? Well, you've seen the young lady, huh? Oh, yeah. Quite a gal, wasn't she? Yeah, sure was. How'd you like that blonde hair and those big blue eyes, huh? <laughs> oh, now, Thorny, I don't think it's nice to joke about a poor old woman who's trying to earn a living. Poor old woman? Well, she wasn't a day over 23, and what a beauty. <laughs> oh, Thorny, that's not a nice thing to joke about. Well, who's joking? She was a very attractive young girl. You saw that yourself. 
Thorny, I bought this from a very nice old woman. Say, wait a minute. What kind of a story are you trying to cook up? I've seen the girl. She had flashy blonde hair, big blue eyes, and a very lovely orange sweater. Thorny, I don't know who you bought this stuff from, but I bought mine from a very nice old woman. That's the truth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh you sly old dog. For a minute there, I thought you were serious. <laughs> I am serious. Sure you are, Oz, sure. I forgot we'd have explained this to our wives. You know, Oz, at times you show a flash of true genius. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about, Thorny? Your story, Oz, is perfect. We felt very sorry for the poor old woman, so Now, we now wait a minute, Thorny. Cross my heart. I bought this from an old woman. Sure, I so did I. Now, just so we'll tell the same story, let's figure out what she looked like. <laughs> oh, this is futile, Thorny. I'll see you later. Okay. Oh, and by the way, Oz, what are we going to call the woman? Well, her name happens to be Mrs. Whistler. <laughs> very appropriate, very appropriate. What's appropriate? <laughs> her name, Mrs. <laughs> oh. Oh, hi, Pop. Oh, hi, boys. You want to buy a ticket to the charity bazaar? Only 50 cents. Only one tenth of a dollar. <laughs> your salesmanship is better than your arithmetic. I'll take one. Oh, thanks, Pop. That makes 11 tickets I've sold today. Good for you. He's selling them for Nancy Baker. Well, oh, keep quiet, will you? She's a pretty smart dame, if you ask me, boy. Nobody's asking you. You never see me getting stuck like that. Who's getting stuck? I'm just playing it smart, that's all. You look pretty dumb while you're doing it, boy. <laughs> What's everybody doing in the house? Oh, hi. Well, the boys are just having a rather lively discussion about David's selling ability. He's been doing very well. There's been quite a bit of selling going on around here this afternoon. You should see the cute sales girl that Catherine Thornberry and I saw. Was she selling tickets to the charity bazaar? No, she was selling spot remover. Has she been by here by any chance, or did I get home in time? <laughs> well, uh, you say she was a young girl? Yes, very attractive, too. A little on the sharp side, but pretty cute. Oh, Harry, this is a remarkable coincidence. Oh, then I didn't get home in time. <laughs> Evidently, there were two women selling spot remover in this neighborhood. You see, this woman came to the door. A nice elderly lady, and you felt sorry for the poor old dear and wanted to help her out. Well, uh, yes, how did you know? That's the same story that Thorny tried to tell Catherine. <laughs> One question. Mm-hmm. Did it work? No, I wouldn't try it if I were you. Harriet, it's the truth, so help me. I saw the woman, Mom. There you are, Ricky saw her. She was an older woman, wasn't she, son? Heck, yeah. She was about 21. Well, what did she look like, Ricky? Well, it's not polite to whistle at the table. Harriet, I tell you, I bought this spot remover from an elderly woman. Oh, it doesn't make any difference, dear. If I'd have been a man, I'd have probably bought some, too. How many bottles did you buy? Four? Oh, of course. I, I bought five. <laughs> She did all right for herself, didn't she? Harriet, I tell you, I wasn't hooked by any attractive young girl. Oh, who were you hooked by, dear? By an elderly woman. She came to the door selling a spot remover. It's I felt sorry right, for dear. the poor old... you say she was an elderly woman, she was an elderly woman. No, okay, then you go right on believing that I got taken in by some young siren in an orange sweater. Wait a minute, who said anything about an orange sweater? <laughs> did you say she was a shapely young blonde with an orange sweater? No, but she was a shapely young blonde, and she was wearing an orange sweater. It doesn't make any difference, dear. It's probably very good spot remover. Does it really remove spot spot? Ricky, every once in a while, a man finds himself on a spot, and nothing can remove him. <laughs> oh, Harriet, I'm... I'm glad you came in. Would you sit down a second? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a feeling that you're still not convinced that I bought this spot remover from an elderly woman. But, dear, I don't care. Honestly, I don't. No, no, no. Wait a second. She's coming over here later this afternoon to deliver the rest of the stuff. Why don't you stay around here and meet her and see her for yourself? Well, okay, if you insist. I do. Oh, Harry, this is ridiculous. That's what I've been telling you. Look, if you have anything else to do this afternoon, you go ahead and do it. Oh, trying to get rid of me, huh? <laughs> What's this? You didn't think I'd take you up on it, but I fooled you, didn't I? Why are you trying to get me out of the house? 
<laughs> okay, you don't believe I bought the bottles from an old lady. But I do, honestly. I believe you bought the spot remover from an elderly woman. What makes you so sure? <laughs> well, because you say so, and I don't doubt your word. You've never fibbed to me yet. Haven't I? Have you? No, of course not. Don't you know that a wife can always sense when her husband's telling the truth and when he isn't? Well, yes, but I just didn't want you to think that I was taken in by a pretty young girl. Do you think I'd be jealous or something? You weren't you? <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, when you knew that this shapely young gal was working her way through the neighborhood, weren't you just a little worried? Well, certainly not. I thought running home would be good exercise. <laughs> You say she was an attractive young girl. Oh, yes, very. Isn't that a strange coincidence that there should be two women working the same neighborhood, selling the same stuff? One, a, a nice old lady, and the other, this uh, attractive, uh, shapely young girl. Luckily, I drew the old woman. Harriet? Yes, dear? What's so lucky about that? <laughs> Nelson? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, I've been so anxious to meet you, Mr. Nelson. Mother told me how nice you were to her. Uh, your mother? Uh-huh. Mrs. Whistler. Oh! I brought your order of spot remover. May I come in? D oh, uh, well, uh, uh, yes. Uh, come in for just a moment. Oh, my, what a beautiful home. Oh, thank you very much. I, I, I don't want to keep you. I stopped by earlier, but I guess you weren't at home. Uh, no, I was next door talking with my neighbor. Well, here, I'll take these off your hands. Oh, thanks. And thanks for buying so much. Oh, aren't those drapes lovely? Oh, uh, yes. Well, my wife takes care of all the interior decorating. She's my wife, and she'll be back any minute now. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't want to pay you. This is three dollars, I believe. Uh, or two fifty, was it? Uh, two fifty out of three. <clears throat> oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, I, uh, I know you want to be on your way, so Oh, no, thank... there's no hurry. This is my last stop for today. Uh, do you mind if I sit down for a moment? Uh, well, uh, to be honest with you... Oh, my, what a nice, comfortable chair. Oh, well, thank you very much. You know, you made quite a hit with my mother this morning. I can see why, too. You're such a nice, friendly type man. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> mother is a very nice person. Yes, isn't she? Poor mother. She has to work so hard. I hope I'll be able to take care of her when I graduate from college. Oh, uh, do you go to college? Well, I plan to start this fall. That is, if I win the contest. Uh, what contest is that? The magazine subscription contest. Are you familiar with the Badger publications? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I don't believe I am. They publish some of the leading magazines. Well, they're giving this contest, and the girl who sells the most subscriptions wins $5,000. Oh, geez. If I win, I plan to go to medical school. Oh, that's a, a very laudable ambition. Oh, oh my goodness. Something wrong? Uh, I seem to have caught the back of my sweater and the chair here. Oh, it's could probably one of those little it? buttons. In, in, yeah, in the, in could the... you loosen it for me? I don't want to tear it. It's uh, down the back. Uh, right back here, see? No, a little uh, lower. There, right, right there. That's oh, Mr. Uh, Nelson, you're tickling me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. oh uh, 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 this is uh, my, uh, this is Miss Whistles, uh, 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 Whistler. Uh, <laughs> this is my wife, Mrs. Uh, uh, Nelson. Uh, Nelson. <laughs> uh, Harriet. Uh, uh, this is the girl I wasn't telling you about. <laughs> oh, yes, I believe you were here this afternoon, weren't you? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, it, was, it was this morning. Uh, that is, no, she was here uh, this afternoon, but she came to see me and, and I wasn't in, you, you see. I came by to deliver Mr. Nelson's order of spot remover and also to thank him for being so nice to my mother this morning. An, an, el an elderly mm -hmm. woman. Yes, he was <laughs> even offered five bottles. Oh, yes, I know. He it, told me about it. He's an older-type woman. Hey, Mom. Yes, uh... Yes, David? Can you come here a minute? 
Oh, will you excuse me a minute? They're paging me upstairs. Oh, yeah, sure. I want well, to thank you again for your kindness, Mr. Nelson. Oh, oh, well, it's perfectly all right. Yeah, your, your wife's very charming. Oh, y yes, she is, isn't she? You are, too. Oh. <laughs> Tommy Day, I sold all my tickets to the charity bazaar. Well, that's wonderful, dear. Nancy Baker won first prize, and she gave it to me. Well, that was generous of her. Only thing, though, what am I going to do with the charm bracelet? <laughs> well, what did Nancy suggest that you do with it? Well, she said it would make a nice gift for some girl on her birthday. Oh. She have somebody special in mind? Yeah, I think so. She said it's her birthday tomorrow. Why'd <laughs> <laughs> you give it to her, then? Yeah, I think that's a general idea. Hey, did you hear the news? David sold all the tickets. Yes, yeah, so I hear. Nancy Baker kissed him. Oh. Right in the face, too. <laughs> How about that? Why don't you keep your big mouth shut, Ricky? She kissed him twice. He let her kiss him, too, and he's bigger than she is. <laughs> Stop snitching. Pretty disgusting, boy. You do a favor for a girl, and right away she kisses you. Ugh. <laughs> all right, you two, cut it out. Talk, talk. Why don't you keep quiet? Aren't you even going to wash your face? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy college life. <laughs> I'm sure I will, Mr. Nelson. Well, thanks again for everything. Oh, you bet. It's a pleasure. Well, bye. Bye. Is she going to college? Oh, Harriet. Uh, yes, she is if she wins the contest. What contest? Well, I have this magazine subscription selling contest, and they have a first prize of $5,000. Oh? You see, they give so many points for each magazine subscription the girl sells. For instance, if she sells a year's subscription to the American Indian, uh, <laughs> by the way, that's good for 20 points. The American Indian? Uh, yes. Uh, it's very popular. <laughs> I imagine it is with Indians. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's very interesting how it has some wonderful pictures in it and some good stories. I think Dave and Ricky will like it. Don't tell and me you took a year's subscription. Well, yes, it gives the girl 20 points, Harriet. Oh, how much wampum did it cost? They're only uh, $3 a year. Now, this is a very reputable firm we're dealing with. That is, it, it seems to me I've heard of the Badger publications, haven't you? No, but I've heard of the Badger game. Oh, Harriet, don't say that. She's a very nice little girl. Oh, please, dear. The mother may be an elderly woman, but the daughter is not a little girl. Well, and she's a, a nice big girl. That's all this has a twofold purpose. Not only get a lot of very interesting reading material, but we help send a girl through school. You'll feel different when you see your first issue of Glorious Womanhood. <laughs> what? The Glorious Womanhood. Uh, that's 20 points. So I got this issue of American Indian for David and Ricky and a subscription for Glorious Womanhood for you. And what did you get for yourself? Uh, it was sort of an outdoorsy thing, a, a farm-type magazine. It's called Poultry Life. <laughs> that sounds as though it ought to be worth at least 30 points. Uh, uh, 40. I can hardly wait to read them. The American Indian, Glorious Womanhood, and Poultry Life. Oh, yes, but doesn't it make you feel good to know that we're sending a girl through medical college? Yes, but I wish she'd operate on somebody else. <laughs> I think I have no sales resistance. Well, I don't know. You don't seem to have much trouble when it comes to men. They've never been able to sell you anything. Oh, now, wait a minute. That isn't true. After all, I bought a ticket to the charity bazaar from David. Oh, well, that's different. Three magazine subscriptions and five bottles of spot remover. I think somebody else better answer the door from now on. Starting right now. Ricky, will you get the door, please? Okay, Mom. Would you like to buy some cookies from the Girl Scouts? I thought the drive was all over. Well, it is, but we have a few boxes left. How much are they? Fifty cents. Gee, I don't know. Are you Ricky Nelson? Yes, I am. My, you're nice looking. Maybe I will buy a box. You're handsome, but you're generous, too. I might as well buy two boxes. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I like the way you comb your hair. It's very unusual. Yes, very unusual. Well, I might as well buy all the boxes. I can borrow some money from my father. <laughs> Hi, Art. Hi, Donnie. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? 
Well, you know the old he who laughs last business. There. <laughs> Looks as if I have the last laugh on Harriet. <laughs> yeah, how's that? <laughs> well, you know, of course, I have absolutely no sales resistance. I mean, the nice old lady came in and I bought all the spot remover from her. Then the gal came in and I subscribed to the magazine. And Harriet's been kidding the pants off me, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're awful cheerful about it. <laughs> well, now, now listen, Harriet went downtown today. She's the smarty one, you know. So she went down there and this sales girl, probably very sharp, sold her practically the whole store. A couple of new hats, a couple of new dresses, unmentionables. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So now I have the last laugh on Harriet. <laughs> She's the one who's so smart, and she buys all those. <laughs> <laughs> what am I laughing about? I've been hooked again, Thorny. <laughs> played the part of Mrs. Whistler. Mrs. Whistler's daughter was played by Mary Beth Hughes. Don't forget that a completely different episode of The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is heard every Friday night on radio. Consult your newspaper for time and radio station.